Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobri den, welcome to me paintings. I'm Veronica Mi and I love to bring art to everyone. So today I would like to teach you how to create beautiful, colorful acrylic pour. And this time I will be inspired by this amazing bracelet which my son made me. He loves playing with Lego and I love the color combination which he chose for me. So today's tutorial will be inspired by this color combination. And at the beginning, I would like to show you how I mix my colors so you can do it all by yourself. I will be using light blue, permanent green, yellowish green, which I mix from these two. Then I've got cadmium yellow, Indian yellow, pink. This is mixture of mauve and pink, mauve and uh, light violet. I'll also be using this cerulean blue, which will be my swiping color. And as a base, I'll be using this wall color this is light turquoise this is just a sample so it cost me like two euros this is meant for walls but i'll be using it as a base color because i just love this shade and it matches the the bracelet so this will be my base color i'll be pouring on primed cotton canvas which is size 30 by 60 centimeters okay so let's pour it on my canvas and spread it everywhere Perfect, so it's time to start pouring my colors. I'm gonna start with the cyan blue. The cyan blue will be my swiping color, so let's pour it here on this edge. And I've got this piece of plastic sheet, which is great tool for swiping. You could also use cling film, ultrasound, paper towel. I like using this plastic sheet and I'm gonna swipe it all the way there. Let's move it down a little bit. Perfect. Now it's time to use my heat gun. This is heat gun, not hair dryer. It's, it's extremely hot and it helps to pop these amazing cells. That's so cool. Look at these amazing colors. Now, I would like to mix these a little bit more, so I'm going to do a reverse swipe and mix these colors all together. So I've got another piece of plastic sheet. Okay, let's use my heat gun again. this color combination beautiful soft colors I'm gonna show you a little detail and you know what while it's drying I'm gonna use my balloon and create these beautiful balloon stamps because I might embellish this into bubble pour which is my favorite and it always creates a beautiful effect on my painting. So here's my balloon. I'm going to start here in the middle. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. I love that flower. That's amazing. I'm going to wipe it on my paper towel and I wait like 10 minutes before I started to do this. Let's do three main ones. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Perfect. And let's do some smaller ones as well here and there. After several days, my painting is dry. So here comes the fun part. I'm gonna turn these into bubbles and I'm gonna start with this drawing circle tool. This one is from Maker's Cabinet, but there are loads of options online. Just search for drawing circle tool, or of course you can use compasses, yogurt cups, any round tools which you find at home. And I'm gonna use this central pen for drawing these circles. So I'm going to start in the middle. The biggest ones will be on the top. So main three big circles. First one, second one and third one. And then I started to draw slightly smaller circles and also the ones which will be hiding behind the top ones. When it's done, I'm going to use this cracking paint system for creating interesting texture around my bubbles. And I mix this cracking paste with turquoise color because I wanted it to mix match nicely together with the rest of the colors. So I mixed it up and it created this lovely grayish turquoise shade. And I use palette knife for spreading my paste around my bubbles. And I'm hoping for some big cracks. After one day, it got dry and the cracks are not as nice as I hoped for, but they are still beautiful. And at this point, I decided to highlight the parts around my bubbles, but later on, you will see, I changed that back into the dark color but of course i wanted to show you this part because i just did it this way but of course you don't have to do this this was a mistake it didn't make bubbles to pop so later on you'll see i turned it into darker background now i'm using my acrylic marker for highlighting the bubbles and of course i could use the marker in the first place but this was easier for me you can do it however you want now here comes the time for bubbles and i'm gonna start with very dark color which i mix with black yellow blue and green i put a little bit of color on the tip of my blending brush go around like this and then i put my brush in water and i try to blend this dark color to create nice shadow or shade in my bubble the bottom part will be lighter so i'm using titanium white to make the bottom part lighter again i put my brush in water and i try to blend it nicely like this perfect so now i'm gonna do it with all the bubbles and then show you what to do next some bubbles has got just a dark top and some of them has got just a light bottom now i'm gonna create shadow underneath each of my bubble so again i'm using very dark yellow blue color mixed with a little bit of black now i put my brush in water and i try to blend it nicely so the edge is nice and smooth so it's not sharp but of course you can create the shade however you want Now time for reflection on the top of my bubbles. I'm using Posca acrylic marker and I'm just going to draw this reflection on the top and also on the bottom of my bubble. And you could also use white acrylic color for this, but it's much easier for me to do it with my acrylic marker.
Now, as I said before, I decided to turn this background into darker shade. So I'm mixing Dalo Blue and Earth Green and I'm going to cover it with dark colors. So it will make the bubbles pop from the background. Now I'm using wet baby wipe and I'm just gonna wipe some of the color to create interesting background. And you can see the beautiful structure. And last thing, I decided to cover some of the bottom parts of my bubbles with darker color. So it will give it more depth. Yeah, and this is the result of my Lego inspired bubble acrylic pour and I love how it turned out. I especially love this texture and these cracks and the shade of this beautiful dark turquoise color. So as you can see, this dark background made these bubbles pop much nicer than the lighter background. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join Facebook group Create With Me or follow me on Instagram, Me Paintings. So I hope you enjoyed this and you can see many more inspiration in my channel. So here there are loads of other videos for your inspiration. Bye!